So, Kenny, uh, thanks for joining. Um, I want to start by asking you, uh, why why did you choose to embark on this, uh, you know, journey to break the Guinness World Record for the longest painting marathon? And then I think it's a color, coloring marathon. Uh, how, how did you prepare for this? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to... Get no problem. Something. Just trying to get the best view of this thing. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you so much, sir. Why I choose to embark on this journey was um uh first <clears throat> uh I love challenges, like I like to take some challenge challenge myself on to do some some stuff you know and uh secondly is that i did not know i can actually break guinness world record until i started seeing some world record breaker in nigeria and i'm sure you know who i'm talking about so uh, i if i had known Maybe I will have been the first to <laughs> to do that. So that that also serves as the uh, motivating factor for me. You know, I was like, "Wow!" So someone can actually break Guinness World Record. Like, okay, let me also give it a try. But why giving it a try? I, I don't want it to be like uh, chasing clouds. Like I don't want it to be like. Uh, uh, okay, uh, it's because of uh, this person, you know. So that's why I chose to do it on my own field, you know. While I was sorry, what what was the second question again? Okay, uh, how I prepared. Okay, yeah. so while I was, uh, so while I was uh, looking for what to break, you know, I don't want it to be a uh, common thing. You know, and uh, I don't want it to be like a useless thing. You know, there are so many useless <laughs> record breaking uh, challenge these days. So I want I want it to be something like when people hear it, it will it will make sense to them and it will make sense make sense to me as a as an artist. So <laughs> while I was yes, I went to the website. I was trying to look for what to break. Uh, I need to break something at least. Uh, so I need to break something. So I was looking for what to break. Uh, okay. Uh, as a, as an artist, I'm, I specialize in painting and uh, ceramics in, in, in university. So, okay. I specialize in painting ceramics in NC and I did uh, ceramics in uh, university. So I wanted something that aligned with my profession. So I started searching. I saw pin, you know, longest painting marathon before. It was a uh, one India guy like that that did uh, sixty hours, and um, I was like, so I applied. I put in uh, ninety six hours, ninety six hours. Okay, when I put in 96 hours, okay, no, I put in uh, 80 hours first for the longest painting marathon, I put in 80 hours. Now, when I submitted the application and I went online, uh, let me even check if someone else has broken this record in Nigeria. I mean, the painting marathon. Let me even check if someone else has broken the record. That was why uh that was where I saw this uh this lady that was attempting. She was attempting to break the record. Uh she set the record to uh 86 hours. Okay. Though I've submitted my own application, I just went there, I just changed the the uh hours. I increased mine to 96 hours and I changed the dates. So um, but of course, I wanted something that nobody has done before. That that would be like I'm the first person 
like I'm the first person to break this record. So um that was where I was searching for something else. Like, okay, I wanted something that nobody has done before. That was where I saw coloring. Normally coloring, you know, is um, not not really something that is challenging, you know, but record is record. So, so nobody um, has broken color. You, uh, what I read was uh, your attempt was for 120 hours. Yes. The, but then you could not complete the 120 hours. Yes. You managed to do 110 hours. Yes. So um, what, was, what was the, you know, the physical and mental demands? Like, how, how did you cope with it? Because that's no mean feat. Okay, so what really happened was that um, I prepared physically. I prepared uh, because I know that most of some of um, the, the the things I needed most was physical exercise. Because one thing about Guinness World Record uh, on that painting as well is that it doesn't matter how beautiful your paintings are; they just want the, the uh, what matters to them is the endurance aspect. You know how you you're able to endure throughout the hours painting continuously continuously so and how will you endure that long hour it's to you know exercise and preparing your mind to it so i did ex exercise really uh and i think what affected me was that i did both records together it takes six hours and 120 hours i wanted to attempt it together if I had chosen one, like Texas hours first, then after one week, uh, the 120 hours, maybe it would have happened like that. So, uh, that time when I reached 100 hours, okay, I continued, you know, 100 hours is the, what was the, um, the last record. The, the last record that was, was broken was 100 hours. So I needed to do more. So that was why I set 120 hours. So, um i broke the record 100 hours i continued but after some time uh i noticed that my body was not <laughs> i was feeling exhausted already uh, because usually uh, i i i i um okay i do have rest time like they give me Five minute break every one hour. Five minute break every one hour. So, but I can compile the the, the the rest time. Like I can compress together. Like I can have three hours break. Sorry, three hours work, then fifteen minute uh, rest. Two hours work, then ten minutes rest. So, so I did six hours stretch, then thirty minute break. So, that time when I started feeling. Uh, somehow I started hallucinating, you know, I started seeing some things that are, that are not, you know, when you deprive yourself of sleep for a longer time, it's, it's normal because I've read about it before I started, like what are the side effects of not, not, not sleeping for a long time? Like I read about it, like, uh, hallucinating. <laughs> so it started happening to me. I seen like I, like like I was in a trance. Started seeing something else. In fact, the object I was drawing started moving in front of my eyes. Like like oh. the object were moving. <laughs> like the object were moving. I I was ah. so I, and I started seeing something that like that were not that that doesn't make sense. For example, the last race that I took that was what changed everything took the last rest rest because 10 minutes rest when i when i have the rest like that i usually prefer to to sleep the last rest was 10 minutes so immediately i stood up i slept because there was this side um i, I have a pillow beside me i would just lie down and sleep immediately so when i woke up everything just it, it was like that 10 minute rest 10 minutes sleep reset my brain i couldn't feel like i was everything was just completely different i started asking questions like please are we doing party here 
<laughs> I was like, ah. They were like, ah. What was Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Start, oh, yeah. Start drawing, start drawing, start drawing. No, as usual, you know, they, they, they have to hurry me up because one of the rules is that I must not pause, I must not stop for maximum of one minute. So that's one of the rules. So if I pause, they would maybe they would dot my, my ass or something. So the and there have to be two at least two witnesses on ground. So those two witnesses were not hurry me up like oh, yeah, uh, start start drawing, start drawing, start painting, start painting. I was like, why are you guys hurrying me up? Why what's going on? They, ah, you speak guys, of, start drawing. You speak of um, you know, uh not being able to pause for one minute. Um, so yeah. what what was your biggest fear? Uh, let's talk about the fear. What was your biggest fear going into the, the challenge? And then what was the what was your fear as you were in the challenge? My biggest fear. Ah, do I have a biggest fear? I was just concerned about uh, the the because I I value my health so much. Uh, I was just concerned about the fact that I don't want to be I don't want to break down. I don't want to be in a situation whereby I will break down everything, everywhere, everybody will be, be saying that he was trying to break record and uh, it's, this is that, is that, is that. So I don't want it to be like that. So um, that was why I actually stopped when I noticed that um, everything is you know, getting out of hands for me. I don't really have a biggest fear. What was the biggest fear? No, 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 no. Okay. I don't really have any so um like at the at the moment I'm I'm sure I'm sure you are aware there's there's sort of an uh, Guinness World Record epidemic going around where everyone is attempting challenges. You know, someone uh completes the attempt and then the next moment they are not even confirmed, there's no official confirmation. Then another person has already attempted that and broken that record. I mean, you can attest with the cooking marathons and whatever that's happening, the singatons. So um as you completed yours currently you did one uh, one uh, 110 hours for the painting and then 36 hours for the coloring so how would you feel if your record someone else attempts your record and breaks your record before the official confirmation arrives 